right, all right, all right. I get you now, guys. I know what I know you've been asking me all the time, Joseph, what are the best or what are the top five money market funds that you can be able to invest on? And guess what? This is that video that you've been asking. And guess what? I'm going to tell you the top five money market funds that you can be able to invest in Kenya with as low as 5,000. And by the way, sometimes even low as that. Um, let's say 1,000 Kenyan shillings and go ahead and do that. Hey, anyway, guess what? Let's have an agreement as early as this. You're going to like the video and I'm going to show you value out of this video for the next 15 minutes. Go ahead and like the video. Make sure that you subscribe so that you'll be notified whenever I upload good videos just like this one. All right. And make sure that you leave me on a comment on the comment section. Tell me which money market fund that you're already in. And by the way, have you already started eating the profits or the interest? Should I call them? All right. And if you have not, come on, this is the time to do that. If you don't know how to invest on a money market fund, you know nothing. There is a number of mine, my contact. It's on the description of this specific video. You can grab it, shoot me a call. Let's get started and I can guide you. Or maybe you can get a booklet. It's only 280 Kenyan shilling and you'll be able to know all about money market fund. Let's get to the business now. I'm going to start with number five. Wait for the number one. All right. Number five. Number five, as far as the money market fund is concerned, we have a company called, and by the way, this rank is actually ranked in terms of which money market fund controls the biggest market. If it controls the biggest market, then what does it mean? Most of the people, they have a trust with that money market fund. So I'm going to use the parameters of the market share in terms of the percentage, which market share or which one controls the biggest market. And number five, we have a company called ICEA Lion, which controls 6.9%. 6.9% of all the population that you have who have invested in Kenyan money market fund. The ICEA Lion money market fund controls that market. And it's a company that has been there for quite a long time. It's a company that it's known and obviously probably by me just writing that name on the board, you already know, ah, I've ever heard of that company. All right. I think it's, um, it's located, um, I don't know, it's uh, in Westland in Kenya. You can be able to get that company out there. You can as well visit their website and something of sort. So the point is, this is that company that you can be able to access it. And it's called ICEA Lion. But they have never known exactly what those abbreviations means. Since I was a young guy, I've been seeing, you know, those abbreviations abbreviations of ICEA Lion or I understand it's actually an investment company that you can be able to pick it up and be able to get started on so it controls that percentage you still with me go ahead like that button and let's go to the point or the number four money market fund company and the number four we have a company called uh, we have a company called Sunlam 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 money market fund Sunlam Money Market Fund, again, is quite a popular money market fund. And guess how much they control? 13.2% as far as the market is concerned. By the way, do you know what this percentage means? This percentage simply means like, hey, if you were to take all the population, for example, let's say you have 100 people. Let's say you have 100 people here in terms of the population. So the ICEA Lion controls approximately 7 people have actually subscribed. 7 people have actually subscribed to that ICEA Lions because some people don't understand or some guys don't understand and there is nothing wrong with that because these things are actually learnable people don't understand when we say it controls 7.96 for whatever this is what we mean assuming we had a population of 100 people who want to invest on a money market fund seven people not people's seven people have already invested with ICEA Lion out of their 100 now when you talk about Sandlam uh, when we talk about this is ICEA Lion says 6.9 when you talk about Sandlam we talk about 13 point percent simply means 13 or 14 people let's call it 13 people 13 people have already invested with what the sunlam investment money market fund okay and obviously you go with that people that they have actually have that build hope and something of sort so this is simply what we mean all right so with that case regard how about i go ahead and introduce the point number four or the company number four the company number four or rather number three number three is actually none other than a company called britam britam money market fund britam money market fund controls 13.3 and again i'm not saying that these numbers are static that they remain constant the way they are no they change time to time but no matter how they change, these are the companies that you find they still appear on top. The moment you speak the language of a money market fund, these are the companies that still appear on the top. Maybe they exchange between the each other or among the each other, but they still maintain those top thing as far as the market is controlled. Remember, I did not say in terms of the percentage that they offer. 
I say it in terms of the market they control, the share market, the capital market. Just like we have an example of, um, tell me that product that, com for example, a soft drink. A soft drink, a company called Coca-Cola, controls almost, I don't know what percentage, but it's obviously that company that is known by the most of the people. For example, if I tell you I would like, I would like to grab a soda, everyone would be like, hmm, you want to go ahead and grab your Coca-Cola? You get what I'm saying? So it controls the biggest share. Most of the people tend to have a trust over that company. And probably you can tell reason why people are having trust over that company. Maybe they offer good services. Maybe they have good interest. Okay, sometimes may not have good interest, but at least it's a company that is stable, has been operation for quite a long time and what have you. Those are the reasons why these companies control these big share because obviously i don't think a company who does not offer good services does not offer good interest and what have you can be actually be trusted by most of the people i highly doubt that specific thing okay so um britam is that company that is actually mostly it's known and buy for the shares are not really shares but it's not company actually you can even buy shares for the britam if you didn't know that company that is known for the insurance based are uh, things and kind of you this is a company that you'll find a lot of things inside of that because their companies they're a bit big you find that they have uh, insurance inside there they have bond fund, index fund, not really index fund, but they have equity fund, they have MMFs, they have unit trust, they have insurance policies. But remember what you talked about insurance policies? Uh, we used, they have about ish, you know, health, health insurances and they have a lot of products that you can be able to pick as far as these companies are concerned. So Britain is that company that doesn't need a lot of introduction. You can always know. And for if you come from Kenya, you can know. I think they are, not even I think, their headquarters in Kenya, it is in a place called Upper Hill. Well, we can be able to get that company out there. All right, let's go to the point number two. Or the company number two that you can be able to invest on or control the biggest market in Kenya is none other than a company called NCBA Bank Money Market Fund. NCBA Bank Money Market Fund, this control approximately of 13.9%. What does it mean? Approximately 14 people, 14 people, out of the population of 100, they have a trust over that specific money market fund, okay, called the NCBA. NCBA it also happens to be a bank at the same time. It's a bank that actually, um, I think it's a bank, it has a lot of history back there, but I don't want to share all that history. I think it's a combination of NIC Bank and CBA Bank to form NCBA and what have you. It has a lot of history. It's that bank. It's also a broker as far as the shares are concerned. It's a company that you can be able to use to actually buy shares with and what have you. So it's a company that is actually known. It's actually, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it's a franchise of um, NCBA Bank. And NCBA Bank, it's a bank that is regulated by the Capital Market Authority. Not really, but it's a bank that is regulated by the Central Bank of Kenya. And also the product of money market fund ought to be regulated by the NCBM, that is Capital Market Authority of Kenya. And all the companies that I've discussed so far with you up to number two, we are yet to introduce the company number one that controls the biggest share as far as the population is concerned. So all these companies, first of all, you have to understand is that they are regulated by Capital Market Authority of Kenya. And they also follow the procedures and what we call, uh, you know, what we call it. There are those rules and regulation that they must follow for them to be termed as money market fund companies. All right. So without further ado, so how about we go ahead and introduce the biggest company in Kenya that controls the biggest share or they have the lion share of the population as far as the money market fund is concerned. And guess what? This company controls 27.5% of all the market that we have. This means like 28 people out of 100 that we have is actually subscribed to this company. And this company, this is what takes our point position number one. And this is none other than CIC Group Money Market Fund. All right. CIC Group Money Market Fund is that company that as we speak, as of now, we're making this video of July 2024. It controls the biggest market as far as the CR money market fund is concerned. Probably you might watch this video in 2029, maybe 2070, and then you're like, no, Joseph, no, come on, don't crucify me on the same, okay? I'm making this video on the July of 2024. So therefore, this company is the one that controls the huge market as far as the population of the investments or investables on the money market fund is concerned. So what exactly did I share with you all those top five money market funds, okay? There are some of the things that you have to consider. And let me just leave you with these tips that can help you a lot to be able to pick the best money market fund for you. Well, 
in Kenya, we have 25 money market funds. These are just five. We have other 20 money market funds, a lot of them. And I know probably on the comment section, you might ask me, hey, Joseph, what about this one? Is it okay? What about the other one? What about the other one? Hey, guess what? A money market fund in Kenya, one, one money market fund in Kenya, they must invest in three areas. Your money. One, bills, to treasury bills. Two, commercial paper. Three, they have to invest on things we call them the FDS or the fixed deposit. Sometimes they can invest on the treasury bonds. So if they invest something extra like real estate, they start investing on business and what have you, they violate the rules and regulation of a money market fund. And let me tell you one thing. The guiding principle should be this money market fund, they invest on those areas, bills, bonds, uh, FDS and what have you. So if they offer bigger percentage than that what is offered by those areas, then those are things that you're supposed to put into consideration. Do not just check on the percentage that you're getting in terms of the return. Of which, yes, I'm not saying you disregard that. It's a factor because, I mean, after all, you want to get money. But it's also to consider some other factors. Like, for example, how long have they been in operation? How, how long have they been in what? In operation? Operation. Number two, you have also to consider the questions of how much do you need to start with? How much do I need to start with? To start with, for example, if I start with CIC, you have to start with 5,000, 5,000. Maybe let's say you don't have 5,000 to start with. Maybe you can pick Sunlam. You need to start with 2,500. This one is 5,000. Okay. And I start corrected. Anyway, you can always count a check of what I'm saying. This one is 5,000. Okay. Uh, CBA, I bet this one is also, yeah, you can, this one I bet you can start with any amount, if I'm not wrong, any amount, of, of course, but not one shilling anyway, yeah, quite substantive amount of money. So the point is this, see, if you do not have the 5,000 as of now, if you want to start a money market fund, so obviously, maybe you can pick another option. So I did not say these are the only money market fund companies we have in Kenya. Again, this is a disclaimer that I have to give you. This video is not sponsored by these companies. No, they did not pay me to tell you anything. It is just my own research, making this video and putting out to you because I care about you, because you subscribe to my YouTube channel, because you like my videos. And if you have not done that and I've said you do, then you should feel guilty and you go ahead and subscribe and make sure that you leave a comment on the comment section. So don't be like, Joseph has been paid by those companies. No, I have not been paid by those companies, just by own research. So that I am able to answer those questions that you guys ask me all the time. Joseph, which money market fund should I start with? Which... Now you have it. Okay, now you have it. All right. So now the other thing that is supposed to consider apart from the amount to start with is of course something called the withdrawal charges. The withdrawal uh, charges. You have also to consider the withdrawal charges. Another thing you have also to consider are the uh, there's something called um, you know management fee, management fee, management fee. Also consider who are they a trustee, who are they a trustee, who are they a custodian. So those are the facts that you see people just concentrate and of course you have to concentrate on something called the interest because the people check out hey which one has the best interest and what have you ah i want that one so you disregard all other factors no come on it's like when you want to marry you know you have to consider many factors maybe let's say you're interested with tall and brown lady of course they have a fact what if you have a tall and brown lady who does not even have good morals what you have a tall and brown lady who does not even, you, you, you get a tall brown lady or guy or whatever the TDH you guys as you call them. But you see, you have to consider many factors, you know. For example, when you want to buy a, a car, you don't just consider, hey, does it have a black wheel? Or maybe that car, is it a diesel? You just, just consider that, oh, I just want a petrol car. You have to consider many, many things. Is it a new SV? Is it a hatchback? Is it a sedan? Is it a... All those kind of things that you are, you have to consider for you to make a decision. I want that one. I want the other one. Not this one and not the other one. So anyway, guys, guess what? Those are the five companies that in Kenya control the biggest market. Allow me to just shut up now and let you go ahead and do something as far as the investment is concerned. Let's say up to this particular point, you have never known how to get started on a money market fund. That's why I'm here. And that's why my number is on the description of this specific video. You can go grab that number. You can ring me. You can text me you can either choose to go the booklet where you pick the book lady um, oh my goodness my camera is showing you read it by yourself and you get all the information or you can actually grab that book um you can grab me i take you through step by step for just a cup of coffee surprise for now it's a goodbye see you in the next one